Okay, fam. Senior Cigar here. You are wherever you are, hopefully practicing social distancing, staying safe, staying hydrated, all that. All right, so it is Tobacco Tuesday. Time for the New York's GNS Virtual Herf. So let me break it down to you. So uh, I'm a uh, subscriber to T-Mobile. And if you're a subscriber to T-Mobile, you know they do these things on Tuesdays where they give away stuff promotional items, blah, blah, blah. All right, so today, they uh, <clears throat> said they were giving away an umbrella. I said, all right, let me go check out the umbrella. So I went to the T-Mobile store that I deal with on uh, Gates Avenue and Broadway in Brooklyn. I walk in, I show the guy, you know, came for the umbrella. Umbrellas are sold out. Now, I've never done this thing where you, you know you go to the store and you try to get the free stuff so I said well okay uh, is there like you get a ticket to get something else or, we're out of umbrellas the umbrellas are gone like, dude okay fine no problem so across the street is a metro which is owned by T-Mobile walk in hey how you doing Showed him the, the uh, thing on the phone. Oh, yeah. Now, fam, a good gust of wind. This umbrella is done. But, hey, it's a free umbrella. What the hell? So after that, make my way into lower Manhattan Soho, Father Fagan Park. Light up an Asylum 13 box press. And... Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to shoot video there. Too cold. The weather kept shutting off my phone. So I couldn't shoot video. So here I am. I'm up in one of the studios here at the job site. And this is what we're doing. Here now. The virtual hearth. So family, let's get into it. Shout out to the medical professionals, first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop owners, the bodega shop owners, the laundromat owners, anybody who has been considered or deemed essential personnel. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety, for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, in and around this country. What you have been doing is so greatly appreciated. Saying thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you for everything you have been doing during the pandemic. And of course, I got to remind you, please check in on the elders of your family, your family and friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. They need to know. So please reach out to them any way you can. Whether it's through a phone call, a text message, social media, video chat, Zoom, house party, Google Duo, FaceTime, Skype. And remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Get in touch with their elders and their family and friends who live alone. No one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives. Absolutely no one. So please reach out to them. All right. Find out how they're doing. See if they need anything. See if there's anything you can do for them. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem, fam, because it is all about support. And while we are talking about support, let us not forget all those fine ladies and gentlemen who own those great mom and pop shops, those small businesses, those great cigar shops and lounges in the tri-state area. They need our support now more than ever as well, whether it's a shop where you can come in, make your purchase, grab and go, or maybe a lounge with comfortable seating. We can come in, make that purchase, find a spot to plop, sit back, relax, light up, put some smoke in the air, maybe pair that fine tobacco product with your drink of choice, kind of like Senor when he pairs it up with Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Maybe even have a little conversation with another brother and sister of the leaf. But please understand, none of that can be done unless you make the effort to go to that mom and pop shop. So 
You're going to break over the piggy bank. Fellas, you're going to open up that wallet, blow the dust out, pull out some dollar, dollar bills, y'all, and make your way to that mom and pop shop, whether you're going to drive down there, or maybe you're going to let someone do the driving for you in a Lyft or an Uber, or maybe you're going to jump on the bus or the train, bicycle, moped, motorcycle, skateboard, pogo stick, roller skates, I said, roller skates, make your way down to that mom and pop shop, and once you get there, take a look around, see what's available, make your selections, and proudly step up to that cash register, and make it rain, baby. Spend a few dollars to keep their cash register ringing and their doors open because it is all about support. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. Hashtag support black business. Hashtag support Latino business. Hashtag support Asian business. Hashtag support small business. It is the right thing to do. Family, we are all in this together and we need each other now more than ever. So please, take the time, make the time to support that small business. All right, now, as you can see, I'm at the job site getting ready to start my work day, working the evening shift. Now for you, more than likely, you're either done with your day or getting ready to be done with your day. So what's the plan for tonight? Maybe you got a plan to have that nice romantic dinner with your significant other, or maybe you're going to go throw some back with some friends at a bar, or maybe you're going to put some smoke in the air with some brothers and sisters of the leaf at a cigar lounge. Maybe you got tickets to see a movie or a Broadway show or a concert or a comedy show, or maybe you decided you got your 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 your, your thing and you, you want you want to go sing some karaoke, you know? Maybe. Hey, whatever you got planned for tonight or tomorrow night or any night moving forward, please make sure that a part of that plan is staying safe. Stay safe so you can stay healthy so you can stay alive because this coronavirus, this is something we've never dealt with before in our lifetime. This is so very serious. We have lost so many lives. We have lost too many lives and we don't want to lose any more. So please do all you can to stay safe so you can stay healthy so you can stay alive. And part of staying healthy, staying hydrated. Whenever you go out, have that bottle of water, that lemonade, or that iced tea, or whatever you need to stay refreshed and hydrated. Take it from Senor Cigar. You will thank me later. All right, family, so let Look, I'm going to wrap this up because uh, <clears throat> in a little while, it's time for me to do what I do in a room just like this. Press those buttons, ride those levels, and do what I do. So family, please don't forget. Check in on the elders of your family. Your family and friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. They need to know that together... We will get through this. And yes, we will get through this. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. And if you are going out tonight, tomorrow night, any night, going forward, please make sure that you have a plan to stay safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. That is it. That is all I got. I am that man, Senor Cigar. Was able to enjoy that fine tobacco product later uh, earlier. Now, it's getting ready for work. Hop in my collar, because I can. But as always, I want to wish you long ashes and better days. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Tobacco Tuesday. At some point, I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. Y'all know I love you. Like a fat kid loves cake, and I hope to talk to you again real soon, maybe tomorrow. But in the meantime, holler if you hear me.
Yeah, bye-bye.